All right, assignment 21, let's talk about schedules, let's talk about critical path method and Gantt charts. So uh, explain the critical path method, what do the arrows represent, and what about the circles? So the critical path method, and this example is used uh, with permission from Arc Toolbox. Critical path method is a graphical way of displaying the different tasks and milestones you need to go through to get from the start of your project to the finish of your project. So the arrows represent tasks, so it'll have a name like clear site or build foundation, which is the work that has to be done, and then it's got a time, so two days, four days, a week, whatever it is. The numbers in the circles are milestones, and so those don't necessarily have to be numbers. They could be letters, symbols, they could be anything, but you know, it just makes sense. Say milestone one, milestone two, milestone three. So the critical path is the longest sequence through the different milestones to get from the start to the finish. And so the reason that's important is because if any of the longest things get delayed, then the entire project will get delayed. So to figure out the critical path, we just look for the longest sequence that gets us from start to finish. Another thing to note is that um, a task has to start when the milestone is reached. Um, and so when you start, it's pretty easy. So the first thing is clear site. You get to milestone one. You can't build the foundation until the site is cleared. So here we're in the critical path. That's easy, that's easy, and that's easy, right? So the next one is a little bit more difficult because once you've, in this, in this problem here, once you've installed rough framing and reached milestone three, then all this other work can start. Once you've done the rough framing, then you can start the sheathing, you can start installing the HVAC, you can do electrical, plumbing, and you can set the roof trusses. So we have to see which of these is the longest. So roof trusses is four days, plumbing is six days, electrical is nine days, HVAC, or I'm sorry, electrical is eight, HVAC is nine, and sheathing is two. So the HVAC is nine days, so that's gonna be the longest, that's the longest task, that's the critical path right there. So another thing this shows you is that uh, you might need to complete multiple tasks and reach multiple milestones before you get to a milestone you can move forward from. So if we're looking at milestone three and we're gonna say we're gonna start all this different work, uh, and one of the things we need to do is set the roof trusses, once that's done, we've reached milestone five. And once we've set the roof trusses, we can install the roofing. And once that's done, we've reached milestone 10. And so you think, okay, well, once I've at 10, I can start the drywall. But the set roof trusses, install roofing is only seven days combined. So that's not the critical path. You can't do the drywall until you've done the HVAC. So all these things, all these dashed lines, they get to 10, all those have to be completed. So again, HVAC, nine days is the critical path. All these other things that have to be done before you reach milestone 10 that take less time, they have float. So electrical is only eight days. That means you have one day of leeway. If the electrical gets delayed by one day, that's fine because you still have nine days to complete the, eight, the uh, HVAC. Plumbing is six days, so that's got three days of float. So the critical path is HVAC. So it's one, two, three, seven. Then you get to 10. And then once you're at 10, you can do the drywall. And once you've reached 11, eight days to the finish. And so here you go. You also have six, but you can see that's only five days, which is less obviously than four and eight. It might be easier to look at this in a Gantt chart. A Gantt chart is a different type of graphical representation. Um, this is a, basically a bar chart that shows similar information. Uh, and so we can do this in the same order. So our first task is clear site, and that's gonna take two days. And you can't build the foundation until the site is cleared. So you can see you've got that dash red line there, and then the start date of build foundation lines up with the end date of clear site. So that's gonna take four days. Then installing the rough framing is six days. So now we're up to milestone three, right? This point right here is the same as that point right there. And once you're here, all these other things can start. You can start the HVAC, you can start the electrical, the plumbing, the roof trusses, uh, the roofing, and the sheathing. So the HVAC is the longest. So you can see that's nine days. So that gets you all the way out to here. All these other things have float. So the electrical, we said it was eight days. So you can spend an extra day doing that. The plumbing is six days. So you have an extra three days safety to get to the critical path and so on. And so once you reach this point, which is that milestone 10, then you can install the drywall. Once the drywall is done, you can start the interior finishes. Some things can obviously go through the critical path. That's what we have up here. So back in milestone three, after we've done the rough framing, 
you can do the sheathing and the windows. Once the windows are done, you've reached milestone six, you can go down to milestone 10 once all these other things are done and start doing the drywall. But you can also start the exterior finishes. You don't need to wait for, uh, say, the plumbing to be done to start the exterior finishes. So you can start that. And this could have been the critical path, but again, that's only nine days and you've got more time baked in here. You've got four days and eight days. So this is a different separate path that you can continue on, but it's still not the critical path. And that's what's showing through right there is that this exterior finishes is can start before you reach that milestone 10 and it can finish after, but it's still not the critical path. I think that's it for this one. The only thing is you can represent the critical path graphically, but you could also say that it's a sequence of the event. So it's one, two, three, seven, 10, 11, and that's your critical path.